Hi my friends, let's model the part number 32, uh, front support from my collection of 100 parts. The drawing seems to be simple, not any special problem. There is a, a protrusion here and the rest is okay. We start by creating a sketch in the XY plane with this contour including the hole and revolve. This is the main part. We try to respect the shape and then we place a first dimension. Good. Another line from here, but not center line, normal line. Split this line and this line. Why? To make them construction line. Now dimensions. The first one is this one, 95 diameter. Then 5463, uh, 38 minus 10, 10, 13. Okay, and also 4 and a diameter of 20. Let's start with diameters. This is 95. Home. And then fifty four and sixty three. Interior of twenty and this gap step how can I call is 28 28 and this is 4 millimeters the total is uh, as I said 38 minus 10 and then 13 and 10 fully constrained now I can apply revolve by pressing the key R directly being in the sketch. Please look here and uh, remember I press R. What you see? The part. <laughs> this is new. You have uh, shortcuts E R Control Shift S, Control Shift L, H, F, remember F, yes, 
I press F and I place all this I press F and I place all this 1 at 45 1 at 45 on both sides I press F and I place all that uh, chamfers 2 and other 2 one at one millimeters one 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 okay next is uh, this extrusion uh, with dimensions seven sixty two degrees both and 26.8 23.7 let's create a sketch with this I select this option arc with center point and I draw two arcs one and another one trying to be uh, ended uh, radial and now I draw a connection line another connection line yes all these four point must be yellow now coincidence between the line and the center point which means the uh, line contains the center point now I draw another line from the center to the quadrant here and I place dimension 7 degrees Seven and sixty two. Sixty two. Then radius inside is twenty three point seven and outside is 26.8 Finish sketch Extrude this on a height of 10 which is by default OK what else is needed this cut with a hole and the thread did a hole let's create a sketch line and line dimensions 33 and 15 33 to the center and 15 to the center extrude E I press the key E I select this and this ok now I create a sketch with a point. Dimensions, positions on the vertical with the center point, 
and 6 mm from the cut. On the same vertical with the center point and 6 mm from the cut. Finish sketch, hole of uh, the kind simple all the way diameter of 10 okay diameter of 10 yes now the threaded hole at uh, the same position with the on the vertical with this and of course centered on this face good we create a sketch here with a point the point is to be on the same vertical with this midpoint and the dimension of 6 again finish sketch hole what kind tapped hole threaded hole not ANSI but ISO not 10 but 6 not all the way but to to what to this hole yes so okay good we have the, the uh, diameter metric six was uh, here we have another identical uh, cut and two holes at 120 also 15 yes everything is sa same but rotated this uh, brings the idea of applying circular pattern selecting one two three all these three features rotation axis is this and we place two of them on a range of 120 you see it will be here okay good the last is this uh, key way 12.3 and 6 this is simple for us we already applied in the previous tutorials this point this midpoint must be here and then we apply dimensions this which is 12.3 and the other which is 6 Extrude E, E. I select all this. You see, all, not this. Cut all the way. Right? Okay. F6. Material. Steel. Cast. Aspect. This is not cast still, but I choose this to have a 
an aspect uh, still cast of course I can choose still carbon okay but uh, you can choose any uh, kind you want this this and this maybe are these are machined yes as still polished you can select which one you want and this is the part my friends properties is almost one kilo that's all for the moment bye bye